Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we dive into One Decision by Mike Bayer, a powerful guide published in 2020 that lays the foundation for overcoming the thinking patterns that often lead us to view life through a lens of obstacles rather than opportunities. This thought provoking book dissects the reasons behind our tendency to make decisions based on rigidity and confusion and introduces practical tools designed to cultivate an opportunity mindset and make life-altering choices. Mike Bayer, the author of One Decision, brings a wealth of experience as a personal development coach and the founder of Cast Centers, a premier mental health and wellness facility. With his track record of helping individuals transform their lives, Bayer is no stranger to guiding people out of cycles of poor decisions and into paths of positive change. He is also the host of the Always Evolving podcast and a frequent expert contributor on the Dr. Phil show. His credibility is further established by his previous New York Times bestselling work, Best Self. This book is a beacon for individuals who find themselves overwhelmed by the obstacles in their lives, those caught in a seemingly endless loop of disadvantageous decisions, and anyone yearning for a significant positive transformation in their life. Through one decision, readers will learn not just to make different decisions, but to make decisions differently, enabling a shift from a life of limitations to a life of limitless opportunities. Join us as we explore how a single decision can be the key to unlocking a better, more fulfilling life. Fulfilling. One Decision, The First Step to a Better Life Introduction, Unlock the Secret to Powerful Decision Making Imagine standing at a crossroads, every direction promising a different adventure or challenge. The process of choosing which path to take is a lot more complex than merely weighing the pros and cons. It's deeply influenced by our emotions, fears, and sometimes a cloud of negative thinking that circles our minds. Delving into the intricate web of decision-making, we uncover the subtle yet formidable forces shaping our choices. This narrative offers an enlightening journey toward adopting a positive outlook, transforming how we make decisions, discern opportunities, and face obstacles head-on. Dive into this exploration, and you'll discover the key to distinguishing real opportunities from deceptive obstacles. Learn why the rigidity that allows an oak tree to stand tall and strong also makes it vulnerable to breakage. Furthermore, we'll offer invaluable strategies to keep overwhelming emotions from hijacking your decision-making process. Through a blend of insight and practical advice, we aim to empower you with the knowledge to navigate life's decisions with confidence and clarity. Part 1. Transform your life with the power of opportunity. Every day, each of us embarks on a decision-making marathon, making roughly 35,000 choices without even realizing it, from the unconscious habit of grabbing a morning coffee to the deliberate selection of a favorite news channel. These decisions shape our daily routine. However, amidst the sea of choices, there exists one pivotal decision that holds the key to profound and positive transformation in our lives. Envisioning a reality filled with vibrant health, rewarding careers, and enriching relationships doesn't materialize by chance. It unfolds through a series of deliberate choices, with the cornerstone being the decision to recognize opportunities instead of dwelling on obstacles. The core philosophy here is simple yet life changing. Deciding to see opportunities can radically transform your existence. Every situation, irrespective of its initial appearance, harbors opportunities waiting to be discovered. When we train our sights on these hidden gems, we cultivate an optimistic and solution-focused mindset, propelling us towards growth, learning, and positive change. Conversely, fixating on the hurdles can trap us in a maze of despair, blame, and stagnation, where every challenge seems insurmountable. Consider the story of a retiree facing financial difficulties. Viewing his situation through the lens of obstacles may lead him to dwell on his outdated skills and the daunting prospect of re-entering the workforce. 
yet adopting an opportunity-focused perspective opens a world of possibilities. He could view this as a chance to acquire new skills, tap into his network for job opportunities, or explore avenues he hadn't considered before. The choice between stagnation and progress lies in the mindset, transitioning from an obstacle-centric view to an opportunity-oriented outlook starts with recognizing the patterns of thought that color our perception of the world around us. These patterns act as forces, either propelling us towards positive opportunities or dragging us down with negativity. Succumbing to negative forces fosters pessimism and obscures potential opportunities from our view. Conversely, engaging with positive forces illuminates the path to opportunities, guiding our steps towards a brighter future. As we delve deeper, we'll explore the dynamics of these forces in greater detail, uncovering strategies to harness the power of positive thinking and transform the way we navigate life's myriad decisions. Part 2. How fortune-telling can veil real prospects imagine Kaya, who's been diligently contributing to her company for a year and feels she's due for a raise. The thought of asking her boss for this upgrade crosses her mind, but fear creeps in. She starts playing out a narrative where her request is flatly rejected, maybe with reasons like, you haven't proven yourself yet, or the company's budget is too tight. Before she knows it, Kea has talked herself out of even initiating the conversation. While Kea wouldn't label herself a psychic, her actions betray a common habit many of us fall into, predicting the future based on unfounded fears rather than facts. The main takeaway here is that fortune-telling can blind us to the opportunities that lie before us. This form of self-sabotage involves making assumptions about future outcomes without any substantial evidence. Such a mindset can be incredibly limiting as it convinces us not to take the steps that could lead to positive change or growth. This is akin to a person not approaching someone they're interested in because they've already decided the other person wouldn't be interested or a student who's convinced they'll fail an exam and therefore doesn't study. At its core, fortune-telling stems from our fears, fear of rejection, failure, or encountering difficult situations. It acts as our mental defense mechanism, shielding us from the discomfort of these experiences at the cost of missing out on potentially life-changing opportunities. The antidote to this restrictive mindset is fact-finding. By focusing on gathering actual evidence, and assessing the real circumstances, we switch from fearing imaginary outcomes to making decisions based on reality. Let's revisit Kaya's scenario under the light of fact-finding. Instead of preempting a negative response, she could compile reasons and evidence of how she's earned a raise. This preparation could empower her to confidently address the conversation with her manager. Thus, whenever you catch yourself trapped in the clutches of fortune-telling, Embark on a mission to find facts. Assess the situation based on concrete evidence and seek out real conversations instead of assuming outcomes. This strategy equips you to make choices that serve your best interests, paving the way for seizing opportunities that you might have otherwise overlooked. Part 3. Break free from overgeneralization with objective thinking. Imagine stumbling during your initial phase in a new job and immediately thinking, I'm just not right for this or receiving critical feedback and concluding, my colleague must dislike me. These scenarios reflect a widespread habit that often holds us back. Overgeneralization. This is where a single incident or a narrow set of experiences dictates our entire outlook on a situation or ourselves, obscuring our vision of potential opportunities. The essence of overcoming this limiting mindset is straightforward yet transformative. To halt the cycle of overgeneralization, embrace objective thinking. Let's delve into a common example of overgeneralization, the belief that all diets are futile. This notion dismisses the success stories of countless individuals who've achieved their health goals through dietary changes. Similarly, thinking that all straight men prefer younger women is a sweeping statement that overlooks the diverse nature of attraction. Overgeneralization often feels instinctual because our brains are programmed to create mental shortcuts for quicker decision making. However, these shortcuts can lead us astray, encouraging snap judgments based on limited information or preconceived notions. 
the antidote to overgeneralization lies in adopting a broader perspective and nurturing a dedication to objectivity. Objective thinking urges us not to base our interpretations or decisions on isolated events or ingrained stereotypes. It encourages us to gather more information, to challenge our assumptions, and to look beyond our immediate reactions. By doing so, we unlock new ways of understanding and engaging with the world around us, paving the path to previously unnoticed opportunities. To practice objective thinking, try this. Reflect on a current challenge in your life, perhaps in the realm of personal relationships. Are you, for example, hesitant to enter the dating scene again after a string of unsuccessful relationships? Consider whether you might be overgeneralizing based on past experiences, such as believing you're inherently bad at selecting compatible partners. Next, explore a more objective viewpoint. What might a balanced, fact-based analysis of your past relationships reveal? Perhaps you'll see a pattern of improvement, indicating a growing aptitude for making more suitable partner choices. This realization can serve as a platform for learning and growth enabling you to approach future relationships with a more informed and confident perspective. By consciously shifting towards objective thinking, you can dismantle the barriers that overgeneralization creates, allowing you to approach life's challenges and opportunities with a clearer, more open mindset. Part 4. Embracing Flexibility. The Secret to Thriving in Change. Visualize a sprawling field, home to both an imposing oak tree and a slender palm tree. The oak, with its sturdy trunk, symbolizes strength and endurance, while the palm, flexible and resilient, sways with the breeze. When a fierce storm sweeps across the landscape, it's the mighty oak that succumbs to the force, uprooted and defeated. In contrast, the palm tree, bending under the gusts, emerges unscathed this natural spectacle offers a profound metaphor for the power of adaptability over rigidity in our own lives. The essence of this lesson is clear. While a rigid mindset can be our downfall, embracing flexibility empowers us to navigate life's storms. We've all encountered individuals who epitomize rigidity, be it a friend who clings to their ways as the only path, or a co-worker whose self-assuredness closes the door to new ideas? This inflexibility acts as a barrier, not only breeding stress and frustration, but also obscuring pathways to personal growth and achievement. Conversely, the magic of adaptability lies in the adoption of a relaxed mindset. Through this lens, we view life with ease, welcome diverse perspectives, and reconcile with the unpredictability of existence. This openness not only nurtures our mental well-being, but also lights the way to fresh ideas, innovative methods, and untapped opportunities. Fostering this state of mental flexibility entails introspection and deliberate action. Consider a moment when you're wrestling with a decision or problem. Identify any fixed beliefs or methods you're clinging to and reflect on how these might be limiting your progress. Ponder on steps you can take to welcome new approaches. This could involve seeking out individuals whose perspectives challenge your own or engaging in practices such as yoga and meditation to cultivate inner calm. By softening our grip on the need to control and be right, we unlock the potential to adapt and thrive amidst change. Ultimately, the journey from rigidity to relaxation is not merely about becoming more easygoing. It's about evolving into individuals who can withstand life's challenges with grace and emerge stronger, ready to seize the opportunities that change invariably brings. Part 5. Navigating through confusion with a guiding purpose. Decisions, decisions. They're an essential part of our lives, yet making them can feel like wandering through a maze with no exit in sight. We've all been there pouring over the pros and cons, seeking advice from everyone we know, and just when we think we've reached a verdict, a single doubt sends us spiraling back to uncertainty. This relentless cycle of indecision can be exhaustive, a manifestation of the negative force known as confusion. It's more than just a nuisance. 
it actively prevents us from moving forward. But here's a beacon of hope. You can cut through the fog of confusion by anchoring yourself to a purpose. Confusion often arises from a cycle of endless analysis, a state where the more we try to make sense of our options, the more entangled we become. This relentless overthinking breeds stress and a sense of helplessness. But what's at the root of this confusion? It boils down to a lack of clear purpose. Consider someone stuck in a job that doesn't feel right. The thought of quitting sparks a tumult of questions and possibilities. But without a clear sense of direction, they're paralyzed by indecision. This is a classic case of confusion stemming from an undefined purpose. Pinpointing one's purpose cuts through this indecision, lighting up a path forward that was previously obscured. Clarifying your purpose doesn't necessarily mean having your whole life figured out. Often it's about understanding what you want to achieve in the immediate context. When facing a decision, ask yourself, how does each option align with my purpose? One of the author's clients illustrates the power of this approach beautifully. Debating whether to homeschool her son, she was caught in a tangle of research and differing opinions. Yet when she refocused on her core purpose, fostering a love of learning in her son, the best course of action became crystal clear. Through the lens of her purpose, the decision that best served her son's educational enthusiasm stood out. In essence, embracing a purposeful approach to decision-making transforms confusion into clarity, guiding us out of the maze of indecision and onto a path that resonates with our deepest intentions. Part 6. Choosing Facts Over Feelings A Path to Clearer Decisions Think back to a moment when intense emotions clouded your judgment. Maybe anger made you say something you regretted, or excitement led to an impulsive purchase. While emotions play a crucial role in our survival, motivation, and ability to connect with others, they also have the power to overwhelm us. This emotional tidal wave can push us into decisions that, in hindsight, might not serve our best interests. This phenomenon is known as emotional reasoning. Here's a guiding principle to navigate through this. Base your decisions on evidence rather than emotions. It's often said that feelings aren't facts, and recognizing their transient nature is crucial. Emotional reasoning happens when we allow these fleeting emotions to dictate our actions, thus potentially causing us to miss out on valuable opportunities. Consider Nathan, an employee who avoids speaking up in meetings because of the discomfort it brings, consequently missing the chance to contribute valuable insights or receive feedback. But how do you step away from the grip of emotional reasoning? It's all about shifting your focus to evidence-based reasoning. This rational approach demands that you weigh factual information before making any decision, akin to a detective piecing together clues to solve a case. An illustrative example comes from the author's own experience with public speaking. Initially, the discomfort associated with speaking publicly led him to decline numerous opportunities. However, After reviewing his past successes in speaking engagements during meetings and presentations, the author re-evaluated his stance. This reflection, rooted in evidence of his competency, encouraged him to embrace public speaking, eventually addressing thousands. Applying evidence-based reasoning to your own decision-making process involves a few reflective steps. Start with a project or decision you're pondering. Identify the emotions you associate with it, be it fear, excitement, or stress. Next, jot down the evidence supporting those feelings, but don't overlook the evidence that contradicts them. This balanced perspective allows you to make a decision that's grounded in reality rather than temporary emotions. By choosing facts over feelings, you unlock a more objective and effective decision-making process, clearing the way for actions that align more closely with your best interests and long-term goals. Part 7 building your decision-making dream. Team. Ever watched an award show and noticed how winners, regardless of the field, invariably thank a team of supporters during their acceptance speeches? This universal acknowledgement reveals a crucial truth. Behind every success 
there's a cohort of individuals providing guidance and support. Whether it's in the limelight of Hollywood or the personal crossroads of life's pivotal decisions, the same principle applies. Here's what you need to remember. To make the most of life's opportunities and navigate your choices wisely, assemble a decision-making team. Embarking on the journey of decision-making single-handedly can be daunting. That's why having a trusted circle, comprising individuals who offer expert advice, encouragement, and emotional backing, is invaluable. But who makes the cut for this elite squad? The golden rule is to select those who intimately understand your strengths, weaknesses, and aspirations, and who possess expertise in the matters at hand. Say you're mulling over a business venture. A friend who's navigated the entrepreneurial waters successfully would be a perfect candidate for counsel. By surrounding yourself with people versed in relevant domains, the guidance you receive will be both pertinent and empowering. Moreover, diversifying your team's roles ensures a well-rounded support system, be it the confidant who excels in providing motivation or the sage who poses thought-provoking questions. To manifest this theory into action, identify the roles you believe are crucial for your support system. Next, list individuals in your life who you trust to fulfill these roles effectively. Then, the next time a challenging decision looms, you know whom to call upon from your dream team. Imagine you've tapped into your support network, made a decision, and set the wheels in motion. There's one final piece to the puzzle, letting go. The outcomes, once your decision is in play, are beyond your control. However, if your choices are grounded in positive intentions, and an optimistic outlook, you can be confident in having made the best decision possible. From there, the universe takes the reins. By crafting a support network tailored to your needs and leaning on them when faced with life's pivotal moments, you not only enhance your decision-making prowess, but also navigate your path with a collective wisdom that assures you're never truly going solo. Final Summary The journey toward making better decisions is paved with the recognition that every challenge harbors hidden opportunities. At times, the path may seem obscured by our tendency to dwell on potential disappointments and fall into the traps of overgeneralization, confusion, rigidity, and emotional reasoning. However, by shifting our focus from fears to facts, adopting a flexible mindset, and allowing our purpose to guide us, we can navigate our way to more informed and beneficial choices. The transformation doesn't stop with internal changes. Having a support network, people who understand you deeply and can offer both expertise and emotional bolstering, can profoundly impact your decision-making process. This ensemble of trusted individuals ensures you're never alone in facing life's crossroads, providing you with balanced perspectives and unwavering support. Ultimately, Effective decision-making is not just about overcoming barriers, it's about seeing beyond them, leveraging opportunities for growth and moving forward with confidence and clarity. With the right mindset, tools, and people by your side, you can turn decision-making from a daunting task into an empowering journey toward fulfilling your potential. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then. Happy reading and happy listening.